R A I M RAIM stands for Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring and it determines whether your GPS signal is accurate. In this video we will see how to perform a RAIM check for your present position using a Garmin G1000 unit in the aircraft. Your GPS receiver needs signals from at least three GPS satellites to determine your two-dimensional position, latitude and longitude. For locating a point in 3D space, latitude, longitude and altitude, the receiver needs signals from at least four satellites. What if one of the GPS satellites is sending incorrect information? There is no way for the receiver to know that unless it is receiving signal from a fifth satellite. In that case, the receiver can compute the location using different sets of four satellites and if the computations don't match, then it detects there is a fault. This is called RAIM fault detection. If there is a sixth satellite signal available, then newer receivers can even exclude the faulty satellite and continue with the remaining five. This is called RAIM fault detection and exclusion. Now let's see how to do a RAIM check using your G1000 unit in the aircraft. A real G1000 unit in an aircraft includes an AUX page that was missing from X-Plane 12. In X-Plane 12.1, this page has been introduced and this is where the compute RAIM functionality is present. I have X-Plane loaded and uh, you can see the map page on the MFD. Click the large FMS knob twice, the first time it will take you to the waypoint page and then it will take you to the AUX page which is the GPS status page. On this screen you can see the uh, GPS satellite constellation up top and the signal strength from each of uh, the satellites and your location information and some additional information as well. And on the right hand side, you will see the compute RAIM um, box. Now waypoint is the present position. And to get to compute RAIM, click the small FMS knob once and then you will see the compute RAIM box get highlighted. Press enter and it will show computing availability. As long as there are five satellites in view and with the proper orientation, RAIM is going to be available. Of course, the more satellites, the better. If RAIM is not available, then you should consider the GPS information to be unreliable and use alternate means such as VOR for your navigation needs. So there you go, how to compute RAIM in uh, G1000. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It will help me at no cost to you. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.